Hi guys, and welcome back to All Read What She's Reading. I'm Michaela. I'm Kennedy. And I'm Reggie. And today, we're getting put in the hot seat. <gasps> I toasty. actually don't know if I'm ready for this. I'm not. I'm not either. I'm just glancing at these questions Should and having anxiety. Should we make it so we have to respond kind of quick? Yes. It's just like your first thought. Yes. You can't like think about it for too much. Yes. We have to be like this. Yes. I feel like that makes it more fun rather than thinking about it too much. So you have to say the first thing that comes to your mind Kay. when these questions are asked. Sound good, everyone? We're Sounds making great. that a goal. <laughs> so we don't take a long time to think about some answers. Go I ahead. think we should go from the top of the list to the bottom. Okay. Okay. I'm good You're, with that. You want me to start? Yeah. We're just getting right into it, right? Yeah. Sorry, we don't really have anything to update you guys on for book reads we are pretty much re- reading the same things that you mm-hmm. guys heard um but also you can uh, follow our good reads we have links to our accounts on our instagram um and if you want to stay up to date on everything that we're reading and the reviews we're giving books you can follow those so yeah i try to be diligent in giving updates on what i'm reading while I'm reading, because it's fun. It's like Twitter for me. Yeah. For sure. It's like my new Instagram. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I went on desktop version for the first time. <gasps> and it's kind of cool, huh? It's kind of cool. It's a little bit... I wish that in, the layout was a little bit different. It seems very old. Yeah, it's basic. To me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But um, I, I looked at how many followers we have, and I genuinely did not think we had that many followers. How many does it say? I think you have 1,700, I have 1,500, and I think you have 1,400. That's wild. Yeah. I had no that idea. I thought maybe a few hundred. Same. Followed me. <gasps> wow. Thanks, guys. That's so I fun. I had no idea. So that's really fun. I love it. Uh, yeah. I guess I had no idea y- you could like see how many people followed you until you said, like, oh, it's on the desktop mm-hmm. version. And I, I could I actually can't find I'll have to ask you that later. I could never find where you can oh, see. I know you can't, but I just couldn't find I, where. I was just doing a screenshot from the books we read. Mm-hmm. It was easier to just put it on Canva from like mm. the books we read. And yeah. so that's why I went onto the laptop like Goodreads and I was like, Oh, this is so interesting. So follow us on Goodreads. Yeah. You can stay up to date there. Yeah. All right. We're ready to start on the hot seat. Y- yes. Okay. Well, um, if you had to live in one universe book, in in one book universe, where and why? Terrison. And I can't say why. I think I would also choose that after King of Ash. Yeah. Reggie? My first thought was Valaris but I worry I would be cold all of the time. <laughs> I don't I really like too. the snow, but that was my very first thought. But I mean, you can always leave and go travel to nearby places, but I don't know if that is included in this question. Initial thought? But my initial thought was Valaris. All right. Okay. Next one. If you could only reread one book for the rest of time, what would it be? The Bible. <laughs> i don't know oh i are we talking like i forget it after every single time i read it or let's, probably not mm-hmm. it would have to be one let's say book or series i would say i feel like if i had to say series oh can we say sjm universe <laughs> <laughs> yeah why not <laughs> my initial thought was throne of glass because i too. love it and also there's tons of books so it would keep me entertained for a while yeah, I'd say I want to read Throne of Glass again for sure. But I mean, I love Akatar more right now. So I would probably say Akatar. Okay. I would say Throne of Glass. All right. One day that m- that might change, but maybe not. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> if you were to replace a character of a book to live their life, who would you pick? I said Magnolia Parks. Actually, I yeah. love that answer. Except I think I would do. Mm, I could do Daisy. No, I'm going to stick with I, Magnolia. I would say Magna- Mag- <laughs> Mongolia? Magnolia <laughs> Parks. I think it'd be so fun to be able to have the moolah. Yeah, and all the clothes. Yeah. 
I would be a big fan of just that. Just see what a high society, glitzy, yeah. glam life would Honestly, be like. if I could just do it for a week, I would do it. Maybe take out some of the toxicity, but... Well, I, I would be a carefree free Magnolia. I would be like, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, that would be a good life to live, honestly. I agree with that. Mm-hmm. Good pick. You can only read one author for the rest of your life. Who you picking? Are we all going to say Sarah J. Maas? Yes. yes. Basic, basic girls? And I'm sorry that that's a basic answer, but it's true. Just something about her writing. Just, you can't get enough of it. Feels like home. Mm-hmm. I yeah. love her. Same. Okay. Least favorite character? Well, that's such a... I feel like I can't come up with someone off the, the top of The first person head. that came to my head <laughs> right now is BJ. No. Uh, uh, I, we, we're going with first answers and that's the first thing that came to my first head thing i can't even think of around. anybody off the top of my head first uh, i genuinely can't think of characters right now bryce okay oh yeah current that's my current least favorite. i would say bryce too not to steal your answer yeah. but i think <sighs> that's pretty it's a pretty if you haven't opinion. listened to our bonus episode of crescent city house of flame and shadow if you're caught up on crescent city we shared some thoughts <laughs> there all right oh it's my turn mm-hmm. yeah what scene from any book has stuck with you the most Mika- Michaela has her answer i cannot say it because it spoils it yeah I- you do not yield Oh, yeah. That's a good one. If you know, you know. Yeah, that's a that's a good one. Mm-hmm. That's a good mantra also. Yeah. It, do you think that spoils it? No. Okay. No? I don't think it spoils it. Okay. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. I mean, this is a recent one. I think about it a lot, even though I was so disappointed by this book. I still can't stop thinking about the end of Iron Flame. Mm-hmm. Yeah because i'm reminded of iron flame a lot through tiktok and um even though that book let me down a little bit i just keep thinking of the ending of that book and it's i wouldn't say that that was just the first thing that came to my mind as a different answer from michaela Mm -hmm. so i'm gonna just go with that because i feel like i will be thinking about that until the next book comes out Mine is because I'm trying to once again not keep it the same because I would probably say something from the same series Michaela's talking about. But I'm just going to say in The Art of Racing in the Rain, when the dog is left home and he goes potty where he shouldn't, and you have his inner dialogue of what happens when he does that. And it just has really stuck with me when it comes to my dogs. And disciplining them and all that so i'm gonna go with that i wish i had a deeper answer (laughs) (laughs) i'm getting teary now okay cool um (laughs) i don't want to ask this question if you could only save one sjm character who would it be i'm assuming they don't have to be dead right it can just be anyone it just can be any character like only one of them lives yeah oh yeah only one can we do it through each series or do we have to do just overall, in general? Just overall one. i got my answer okay go first nix oh my gosh shut up that's my only answer oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you kids okay well uh well, i think we say is gonna make it sound like a holes. <laughs> dang it, dang it, Reggie. Sorry, I should have gone last. <laughs> okay, here's my thought process. Okay, let's hear it. If any, if I was to save anyone, I don't think they would want to live without the other people. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, I I was kind of thinking in yeah yeah that direction. I'm going with Fleetfoot. 
That's literally what I said to, <laughs> to Reggie before we even started this episode. <laughs> I'm going to have to say, I cannot remember her name to save my life. The girl that Lysandra mentors. Oh, oh. yeah. I can't think of her name either. Uh, shiz. It's on the tip of my tongue. Just because she's young and has so much. I like that. Evangeline. Answer. Evangeline. Evangeline. I'm going to say her just along the lines of. I just think that if <laughs> I if there was only one character left, they wouldn't want to. Exactly. Yeah. yeah live without the rest of them so i'm gonna stick with fleetfoot i like it this one's really important so those of you who are listening make sure your ears are open and you're really paying attention grilled cheese or quesadilla (laughs) am i going first grilled cheese grilled cheese i don't know first impression you have a grilled cheese in front of you you have a quesadilla which you eat i think i I think um, I love that we got this question. It's the only non-book related question <laughs> we got. <laughs> I think I'm gonna say quesadilla because you can do so much more with quesadillas. In my opinion, you ever had a tuna melt? I have. That's not the same thing as a grilled cheese. I mean, technically, yeah. yeah. No, I just love w- nothing. You put sweet pork in a quesadilla. It's the same thing as putting like a meat in a grilled cheese. No, it's kind of it's different. It's different. I mean, you can do it. A tuna melt is in the same category, but it's not the same thing. I would say it's the same thing. No. First disagreement we've ever had. (laughs) I just love nothing more. I like grilled cheese, but. Yeah, a really good grilled cheese and dipping it in some tomato soup. Yeah. Mmm. I honestly depends on the mood. Right now I'm feeling quesadilla, so. I get you. All right. I love both equally. Mm Mm-hmm. But you had to pick. Mm-hmm. Okay, everybody. If you were to write your own book, I wouldn't. What would it be about? Uh, fairies <laughs> and dragons. <laughs> pretty broski. Uh, pretty princesses. <laughs> dresses. Dark shadow men. I'm really impressed. You know that whole audio. I only know the first part. Is that? I don't know. I was making oh. it up oh. after. Oh. Oh. Nice fairies and dragons i made it up after that i would like to think that i could be smart enough to write an epic fantasy but i'm not mm-hmm. if i was forced to write a book which gun to your head i would never write a book let me just say that it would probably have to be just a romance not a rom-com i couldn't write an epic fantasy i'm not smart enough gun to my head actually gun to your head i'm with kennedy but i think instead of it being like a rom-com it would be more of like a There'd be romance, but it would also have some sort of found family essence to it. Cute. Like a family book. Like Little House on the Prairie. (laughs) No, no. (laughs) Little Women. No. Little Women. No, 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 no. It would be like, oh, contemporary romance book, but with a lot more, I'd want to, I just like the family elements into where it's not just about two people the whole time. So Magnolia Parks. I wish I could. I wish I could. I don't know. Come to my head. I would love to say, same as Kennedy, that I would be smart enough to write a fantasy book, and I cannot. I think I could excel a little bit at writing maybe a dystopian type book. Okay. There's no rules. There's epic, no rules. epic fight scenes, training scenes. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd read it. So would I. I don't know. I like the idea of there not being any rules and I can just be like, and then a uh, gummy ball came in. <laughs> I mean, I guess and healed them or put clothes on them. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, like it you doesn't could, have to make sense, but yeah. yeah. You could say the same thing about fantasy though. You can make up a whole world in your head. Uh, more I just, I just feel, uh, I don't, I'm changing my answer for <laughs> romance. <laughs> I just don't know if I could make a storyline that could, like, make sense for a dystopian book or fantasy. Like, have I, everything connect? I don't know. Yeah, I would just love to know when these authors make books like this. A dystopian, a fantasy, even a thriller. I'm like, how long are you thinking of this idea? How long has this been stewing in your brain? I picture a whiteboard with a whole bunch of sticky notes and a whole bunch yeah. of yarn tying everything together. 
I love it. That's what I picture. I maybe we should get an author on here. Man, we've been saying know, that for really a long time. Need to. If any of you guys have any connections, let's know. So, but um, hmm. I know my answer for this one, but I'm curious to know your answer. Uh, divine rivals or powerless? Powerless. Divine powerless. Rivals. Mm. Mm. Love that. I for love you. that. Yeah. Okay. Favorite comfort books that have been read multiple times. I'm going to be honest with you. I am the type of person that hates rewatching TV shows and movies. Basically, I hate consuming the same content more than once. I have not reread a book again yet. Well, I guess I am re-listening to Assassin's Blade. So let's go with Assassin's Blade. I can't think of a book I've recently reread. I honest, I really don't think I can think of one. Uh, I've read the selection series three times, so I'm just gonna say the selection series. I guess I did read the Hunger Games twice, but that was like a long time ago. I think I read Twilight twice, back in the day. Hmm. Take that. Yeah. I just will. I like I really want to reread Akatar right now. So badly, but then. I'm like that's <laughs> that's how many books that I need to read. I mean, I did read it the, for the first time in within two weeks, so I, it is possible. <laughs> but I have a hard time wanting to reread a book or series when I have other books that I haven't read yet that I'm really wanting to read. So I really do love the idea of now. This is obviously not very cost effective, but for me, my plan this year is to re-listen to. So I read Throne of Glass, but my plan is to re-listen to every single one of the books this year. And I love the idea of having your favorite books on audiobook. So then maybe you're not having to take time away from reading other books. You can just listen to your favorite yeah. books. I thought about doing the Akatar graphic audio. You should. But I almost worry I would not catch. I want to be able to like catch things that I didn't catch the first time. And I'm worried that if I listen to it, I might not catch it as well yeah favorite young adult book one singular book hmm can i say a series <laughs> yeah you can say a series um i would say maybe carval mm -hmm. or once upon a broken heart i agree i was gonna say divine rivals okay i'm gonna say i've only read the first book but I'm going to say the Scythe series. It's a little bit different. It's a little bit darker than your average young adult novel, but I really am enjoying it so far. Um, a book you regret giving a five-star rating to? Tomorrow, Tomorrow, and Tomorrow. I enjoyed the book. I don't think it's a five-star read for me. I should probably rate it four stars. I kind of gave into the hype of it, and it just honestly was kind of a little slow for me personally you know i think i'm going to say the same because i love that book when i finished it for like a week i was like this is a five-star read for me have not thought about that book since not gonna lie so i feel like could you still see yourself reading that book again no no and that's why i did I enjoy it though i thought it was very well written and it was a nice change of pace to the other books that i have read but haven't thought much about it and I don't think I'd reread it and I feel like a five-star read is a book you would read again I agree yeah what about you I don't give out a lot of five-star books not gonna lie I would probably say one of the Colleen Hoover books I read the beginning or a year and a half ago I agree with that yeah you know you just read better books and then you realize maybe it's not a five-star read but at the time it was and you can't judge past you yeah mm -hmm. versus future your present you you know yeah i can't think of one exactly but i'm very very like especially this last year i've been very particular about the five stars that i give out to books so an author whose books we'd never read again I'm going to say Tessa Bailey. That's what I was going to say. 
I haven't read Tessa Bailey. But here's my conundrum. She is coming out with a golf romance. And I may actually read that. I The reason I said Tess Bailey is I just don't read for smut. And I just feel like the plot of her books is just, for the most part, smut. And I'd rather read more plot. Yeah. So I don't a have anything against... A little bit of sprinkle. Yeah, I don't have anything against Tessa. And she writes some some good good spicy scenes. <laughs> but it's just not what I'm looking to read. The one book I read by her was Wreck the Halls. And I read it, or I listened to it around Christmas time. And there's a lot of smut in it, obviously. But there was just this one element to the book that I just thought was really freaking weird. <laughs> and the plot wasn't that interesting to me. I don't know if I have... I mean, I don't think... I, ha- I don't think I'll read a Tessa Bailey book. Mm. I haven't read one of hers. I just... Or... Let me let me go to my good reads. I have. Quick. I thought I knew what you were gonna say. What? Who did you think? Taylor Jenkins read. Oh. oh yeah, her, definitely her. Yeah. <laughs> Please don't come at me, you guys. It's okay. I just didn't. I didn't like her book. That's okay. I've only read one of her books, and it was not for me. But that's okay. I also just really like fantasy. Fantasy is just my thing. I don't rate romance books or fiction books very highly at all. Um, so I just I just know that about me. And um, it's very rare that I will rate a romance book, like a contemporary romance book, like over four stars. Yeah. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say this, okay? If you listen to this podcast and you have yet to read a fantasy romance book, okay? And you just think, I don't think I'm going to like it. If you haven't already tried it, you've got to give it a try. <laughs> because, and if you don't like it, it's okay. We won't be upset. But I was just, we were talking to a friend the other day. I'm going to give a shout out to Kaylani, if you're listening, Kaylani. She had told me back in October, she said, oh, I could never read any of that fantasy stuff. That is just not for me. And I was like, okay, Lonnie, uh, over a year ago, not for me. And the second she saw me the other night, she's like, I started a guitar. <laughs> and she told me, she said, I don't know how I could read any other kind of book. She's, it's, she says, it's consuming my every moment of my day. Mm-hmm. I will say it is nice in between series to have a rom-com or something that's less complex because sometimes your brain starts to hurt and i don't know if you guys feel this way but if i read fantasy after fantasy after fantasy the worlds kind of start to bleed together Mm -hmm. and i like to have a book in between that helps me almost have a line in my brain where this is where this ended and this is where this begins Mm -hmm. nothing against fiction historical fiction nonfiction anything i think all genres are amazing and everybody has a preferred genre it's just that ours is fantasy akatar or throne of glass throne of glass throne of glass akatar <laughs> next <laughs> oh a book you're scared to read i i don't i don't know i, I was it, really scared to read house of flame and shadow me too i think it could even be well yeah I don't know. I, for me, and I get hyper fixated on things. And right now my hyper fixation is the Magnolia Park series. If you guys can't tell, I'm actually terrified to read the new Magnolia Parks book. I've just been seeing so many people's Goodreads updates and TikToks. And they say they just cry throughout the whole thing. So I'm a little terrified. I feel like that's probably the same. (laughs) Oh, no. Mm-hmm. okay these two have finished daisy hates and i still have 80 pages left so i don't know how it ends but the look on their faces right now is worrisome can't wait to cry I'm tonight i'm a little worrisome yeah me too can't wait to cry tonight guys <laughs> please marco polo is your live reaction i'll record it i will do it oh <sighs> but yeah that's the first thing that comes into my brain a popular book you don't see yourself reading 
I got one. Okay. Okay. Haunting Adeline. Yeah. I just can't. I've read it. I've just tried. <laughs> I've read. <laughs> I've read a darker romance. Book what was it before? Wouldn't you say the Mind of series is kind of a dark romance? Not the yeah. romance part of it, but I feel like it has a lot of the same elements that I've heard are in mm-hmm. Haunting at Adeline. Mm-hmm. And I just don't think I could read it that way. I don't want to read and be disturbed. So I know a lot of people really like it. I don't know if I can handle it. I'll admit. I would agree. I just finished Butcher and Blackbird a few days ago. And the plot and the banter and them as a couple was really fun to read. And there were some parts that actually made me laugh out loud. I was listening on a plane and I had to cover my mouth because I was laughing. But the sex scenes were way too much for me. And I know that's like a tiny, teeny bit of dark romance. Like, I don't think Butcher and Blackbird is considered dark, dark romance, but that was too much for me. So there's no way in heck I could ever read Haunting Adeline. However, the other one and this, I, okay, it's on my want to read and I could maybe see myself reading it, but I think I'm so far removed from the Harry Potter world. I don't know if I ever will get to it. And that's Manacled. Mm. And I know it's so good and people say it's amazing and you have to read it and maybe I'll get to it someday. But right now, I don't know if I ever see myself reading it. Your turn. <laughs> I know. Uh, mm, 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 mm. Probably the same. Haunting Adeline. Is it Haunting Adeline or Hunting Adeline? Oh, maybe it's Hunting. I, I, I think realized? it's Hunting. Is it Hunting? Yeah, I think it's Hunting. I think I said Haunting. No, wait. I thought it was. It is Haunting. I thought it was Haunting. Oh, okay. It is Haunting. Yeah, it's Haunting uh yeah sorry i'm being kind of basic with my answer i genuinely can't think of anything else besides that or crescent credence 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 is another one i probably won't Mm -hmm. read i i've heard i've heard enough (laughs) and i think that's good enough for me (laughs) valid i think just dark romance in general and i'm not i think if you like dark romance that's great not dissing on it i think it's just too intense for me yeah yeah exactly i i love it for you it's just not for me yeah just like how the kind of sorry go ahead just like how fantasy isn't for some people dark romance isn't for me and yeah like i want books to keep me up at night in a positive way or like a does that make sense it's it's not the kind of book i want keeping me up at night. Yeah, yeah i get it so can you guys i don't know if you'll be able to come up with this off the top of your head but describe your life in a book title an existing that book you've title read oh okay that you've read that i've read okay this That's actually good. will be really fun if i can mm. <laughs> i got mine anxious people <laughs> <laughs> that's mine mm. Mm. um powerless Uh, i got one (laughs) i I thought about that for a second mine right now is you guys haven't read this book but it's by it's by nina lacour i think that's how you say her name it's called we are okay i'm just okay (laughs) okay okay so that would be mine i'm just okay and i don't mean that in like a really sad sense i've just people keep asking me how are you feeling how are you doing because i'm due with a child very soon and I'm kind of just like, I'm just okay. <laughs> if I'm being honest. I love the so, honesty. That might be mine. Mm. I got another one for myself. Okay. The perfect marriage. Oh. Aw. That's so cute. cute. <laughs> That's adorable. <laughs> Mine's gone girl. Just kidding. <laughs> Peace out. <laughs> Bye everyone. Sorry, Cole. Um hmm, have you read book lovers? Yeah, I was thinking about that. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, mm, that's a little cheesy. Uh, maybe yours truly. Cute. I've heard people cry reading that book. I'm ready to cry. I love that book so much. I think that's my favorite. <gasps> Ooh. I'm maybe excited. I need to, maybe that should be my Spotify. Well, you gotta... Oh, it's the second, too. I feel like yeah. you guys are gonna really like it. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I loved... 
How did I just forget? Part of your part world. Part of your world. It's the second one in that, right? Yeah. Mm. But I think you guys are going to really like it. Oh, I'm excited. I so many it. books, so little time. Yes. Yours truly. Popular book boyfriends that give you the ick. Hmm. I don't know. My first thought was it gave me the ick at first. Okay. Doesn't give me the ick anymore. Ruined down in. Okay. Okay. <laughs> kind of okay. gave me the ick. Yeah, yeah. I'll be the first to admit that I was not his biggest fan, like in the first book at all. He grew on me. Mm-hmm. Continue. But that was the first thing that came to my mind. But overall, mine would be Knox Morgan. You oh, that's from the that things book. we never got. Yeah. Over. And then people probably think I have this obsession with that book because <sighs> I really just did not like it. But it's just when I think of red flags, it's just what pops up in my brain. Do you have one? I don't know. I would say maybe. Uh, I'm just thinking. The first thing that came to my brain was maybe rain. Mm. Just because oh. of. There she is. There she is. That I don't is know. T- that I, is totally fair. I I still really like him. I just can't think of anything else right now. That's totally fair. I'm gonna go I can with. Agree with that. Ooh. I mean, I, I'm just trying to think. I just can't think. And my other one was Hunt, so. Let me look. I I don't actually know. Or Reese Larson. 100%. But you guys, I feel like I can't say that because you guys haven't read it and I'm not suggesting you do. But everyone's obsessed with Reese Larson on TikTok and I am not. Oh, I got one actually. I didn't finish the book though, so I feel like I can't. Maybe this isn't worth sharing because I didn't finish the book, but he gave me the ick so badly that I had to end the book. I don't even remember his name. It's the guy in the very first Windy City book. The right move. The right move? Is that the first one? I get the heebie jeebies just thinking about that man. And I didn't finish the book, and everyone says he gets so much better. But if that was my first impression of him, just not a fan. Barf in my mouth. I feel. Was that the last question? Yeah. I take back Rain and replace it with Reese Larson. Okay. That was just the first thing. It's not, he doesn't give me an ick. Just when he says that, it gives me an ick. That's what I was going to say. I don't think I've read a book where the man as a whole has made me icky tam tam <laughs> even he doesn't actually give me the ick only when he plays the fiddle that's true so and there's he- things certain characters do that i'm like Ugh. but i can look past it <laughs> see the heart of gold within <laughs> <laughs> kennedy can overlook red flags <laughs> <laughs> yes where's that guy on tiktok with the big red flag red flag <laughs> We had fun getting put in the hot seat. Uh, these were tough questions to answer for sure. Uh, we once again just came up with things that came immediately to our brain. Our answers might vary depending on if we had more time to think about them. So uh, it was really fun. We may do this in a few months next year. We loved all of it. Uh, we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye.